Joel over here. Uh, we're going to take a vote of adjustment. And the charges are going to be $170 three utility permits to start out with. Um, uh, they're all three wind streams. The first one is uh, just out on the north edge of town going west on uh, 300 Street, or the track road, G line, whatever you want to call it. Um, they're going to be doing some, uh, laying some lines in the south edge. And so the, um, this, I don't think it's going to use it there. I need to have you approve it. So this is going on west for a ways up to H Avenue. And they're going to be starting in the in the DOT's right of way, so there's a separate permit for, for that portion. It's a state permit where they're needed to work in their right of way there. That's one. Uh, the next one um, is uh, out here. The bridge is going to be replaced. Uh, on, uh, over here, Creek on Business Street, uh, that bridge is being replaced, and there are a couple of conduits that are attached to it that uh, need to be moved. And the last one is down by Chelsea, uh, V Avenue and E66. Uh, they're just going across the road, going out. Other stuff going on, uh, you know, we're, uh, we've got equipment ready for winter at this point. We uh, are going to be doing, uh, we've had some work going on on X Avenue south of 30 where we, uh, there was an area where there was a bit of a snow trap and the guys uh, took that dirt, it, it was dirt along the field and we were able to push it out into the field, clean, uh, clean the fence line out basically. Yeah. Clean ditches out, and we deposited that dirt out in the field. Um, we are starting. Uh, it's a late project, but up around Dyser, the with the uh, lagoons being worked on, that's a pretty good sized project. There's some dirt that's looking to be gotten rid of up in that area. The contractor doing the work, we've got lined up that they're going to deposit some of that dirt on X Avenue South. Of We've got an area where we have pretty good snow trap. It fills in pretty regular. It's a problem. It's not ideal time to be doing it, but now is a better time than never. Right. And so likely what will happen is we'll get dirt up on top of that. Um, my suspicion is it'll require extra care going through the winter. 
but it's going to be a, a defined area that we'll have to take care of. We'll probably put more wax to it and that type of thing. Do you need that packed down well enough this time of year? Still, right now, yes. Okay. Right now we can, yes. At some point, that's not going to be the case. Uh, the water is still there. It's still water, not ice. Okay. Yes, but at some point, that will not be the case. Yes, we do. So that would just be to the entrance to the... Be, uh, by the lagoons, I'm coming south is where he's looking at. So okay. It's in that area. It, it, like I said, not ideal. And the next week, week and a half, it looks pretty terrible, actually. Yeah. Well, you get it packed down, you know, yeah. it's going to dry a lot. But what do you know? If you just have a bunch of big frozen chunks, on that ain't going to work very yeah. well. So. And to be honest with you, there is still going to be a certain amount of muck in the air that has to put extra rod to it. But it, mm -hmm. it, there are issues in that area with, with snow and, and yeah, that. There it, is. It, uh, it will be an improvement if we can get well, this in. The contractor's going to be bringing the dirt out. Is there a rock surface to the entrance to the lagoon? Don't believe there is yet at this point. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, there hasn't been. There wasn't. Right. Uh, I don't know if the contractor is looking to put rock down there. We had talked about that. Yeah. Them some rock, but it's not going to happen. But it hasn't happened last time I looked. Hmm. Um, the shop, so the, all the concrete floor is done out there for the shop. And the uh, there's still a little bit of concrete, like on the outside area that the uh, uh, wherever there's a doorway there's going to be concrete right out in front you know out, outside yeah. to the door um, there's a little bit of that happening there too but the building itself was delivered last week and a really big truck now it's a uh, I don't know if the entire building is there um, I talked with Pat he thought there might be another truck load or two it's going to still need to be assembled of course and that type of thing. assembly will take some the biggest problem with assembly will be when uh, putting steel mm -hmm. up on that when it gets some, any amount of wind, the fitting won't have it. We'll shut down. What are the kinds of things we have? I'm running out of stuff that's interesting to tell you. Stuff will probably a stub on that curb that's supposed to bring it out of the boat. We're, we're working really well, but we got just more gravel on there. Okay. And it would be good to just get it in before it froze up. Yes, yeah, so that. that was a good report. That's something we can work with. Okay. And we're um, um, going to try to work with, uh, consult with Rawbox to figure out who would be a good, that's a bigger job than, a, that's not a one or two man job. That's not, right. No, that's a big that's job. That's a crew that we mm -hmm. to do this with. And I got a list of a few names from uh, Hazleton and Amish up in that way. And, and Rawbox has given me some names. Candy about this on, on was it Thursday that they talked to her about it. The problem with the Amish, maybe we can work through the insurance. I, I yeah, it'll have to be worked through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the talking with her, we think there may be a way that we can get through it that hurts mm -hmm. the insurance. They yeah. don't do we have that insurance. insurance in place. Yeah. There's a Amish group down by uh, Drakesville. Yeah. That did, has done some work for us. That Really good work. Uh, Horizon, or Horizon Builders. Horizon Builders. Mm -hmm. um, finding somebody who uh, has equipment. I don't know if all of the Amish can run that out. If they, they don't have it, they'll lease it. Mm -hmm. And, and they'll run it. They will. That's oh, the yeah. idea. You just can't own it. Really? All on their team. Yeah. I had a, had a project I knew you told me out on the farm. I had to get done a roof for me on the dam. So I was surprised myself with this little map as to how to get here. And he said, Well, that, is that the address that's on that map? I said, Yeah. Well, he said, That's no problem. I'll just look it up on my GPS. <laughs> but it's battery power, there's no electric wires. <laughs> Good. Good 
positive battery. <coughs> Every one of them's got smartphones. Mennonite is just but they got a bigger crew. You know, a three man crew, you, you lost after. Yeah. Oh, that's something that's going to lose. Yeah, it'll, it'll make a big crew. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right yeah. in that direction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. What? Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, did you look at the agenda? Oh, yeah, something about. Uh, talk about mechanic phase scale. Yeah, I'll sit there. I'll talk. Go ahead. Lyle, is there a protocol for letting landowners know because where you are on X Avenue, I just noticed this morning that the road was closed. They had road closed signs. That's where we're putting the dirt on. Correct. And so was, the protocol is we have a uh, we have what's called a road notification tool, and anytime we close a road, we uh, go into the system and we can uh, we say we're going to close a road, and it'll automatically send out emails to anyone who's in the system. Now. If you'd like, we could add you to the system, then you would automatically receive that notification. It gives you a lot of other ones too. Yeah, see, we farm the farm. It's the uh, Natalie Fredrickson farm, north of, we're just south of the dirt road. <coughs> and um, we're going to be applying fertilizer. Will that have any effect on that? Should be able to get in and out. We're going to, they're going to be bringing dirt. We're going to have somebody there trying to level it off as it goes along. Should be able to get in and out. Because I know Kathy Harkema as well. She said this morning, she said the road is closed, and she said she had no idea what it was about. And, um, you know. Yeah. This kind of popped up that um, uh, Dan Hatch is doing the work for the, uh, and uh, we were able to talk with him and get, the, get a hold of this dirt to do it. So. How much do you plan on building the road up? You know, I don't know exactly how much dirt he's looking to get. If we can build it up a couple, three foot for some distance, that'd be real helpful. Yeah, it's going to be more than a little bit. It'll be <clears throat> at least a couple of feet. Probably. Okay, and will you will you maintain our driveways? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Driveways, existing driveways will need to be restored because obviously that's going to fill them out of whack. Yeah. Um, we once in a while, once in a while, we'll run into a problem where the driveway is uh, um, quite a different elevation than the field. We might have to carry well to carry dirt back into the field if we have to. I don't think that's the problem there at all. Would this be a time where you could widen the driveway? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's and fine. is there a time span on this? How long will this take? Probably a couple of weeks is what we're talking about. Right. And it's still weather dependent too. All of a sudden it comes about that a week from now that everything's frozen. Are we still going to be able to get to the cemetery from there? Is so we'll be able to get to the cemetery. It'll be, uh, it's yeah, absolutely. The, the cemetery is all on the paved road, so it shouldn't affect that at all. The way I understand it, and it shouldn't cause a problem. I just was thinking, we got a funeral Saturday morning. As long as you're coming out from Geyser, yeah. yeah. There are signs up the Lyle that right on the edge of 190th. You know, we'll exactly. close the head because, yeah, because yeah, mm -hmm. there's no turnaround after that. To answer John's question about the, the field driveways, isn't it policy that if you take out a 30-foot culvert, you'll put in a 30-foot culvert? Yeah. So if John wants a 60-foot culvert? We'd ask him to pay for the culvert, but we would do the Just so you know, John. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Dry fills it, but obviously. I was just going to ask you to go into detail with it because you need, everybody needs to know it's so many things. Yeah. Okay. That's a fair question. So just make sure you don't have a posting board like DOT does for clothes, you just have that email system? Well, this posting board actually goes to a, a um, statewide website that can be accessed. The Iowa DOT has um, 511. Do you ever remember that? Oh, all the time. <laughs> just I didn't know the county roads were included there, on There's that. a link. I, I've never looked at it myself. There's a, a link that will take you to the county. Okay. So our landlord that's in Minnesota would have been notified? We don't send out to the joining landowners themselves. No, we send it out to the people who are part of this system of, if you ask, if you ask to have your email address put into the road notification tool, you would receive those emails also. It's kind of like if you call the floor and ask to put on, do you have something that you send out the agendas? Mm -hmm. And you do it to people that call in and ask mm -hmm. to be on that, that website, or that. Mm -hmm. So in other words, there's yeah, no side. other way that people are notified that something's gonna change on the road. <laughs> Now, I'll address that. 
Is is Debbie going to be here for that? Yeah, she's, she's the, the crazy head coach. Yeah. Okay. So she can't be there. So she's next, she's next only mentioned it to me briefly. Well, yeah, that's the. That's a, I was thinking that was an exempt status for the union, but it's not. So <laughs> we got some work to do before we bring that. Yeah. So the pay scale for mechanics is um, the guys that operate motor graders, for example. I want to say that they're at like just over twenty-four dollars mm -hmm. an hour. Yeah. Twenty-four, fourteen. Yeah. Well, to start, they're at twenty-three, which goes up to twenty-five. Okay. But the the motor graders are at twenty-four fifty, and the mechanics, if they've been here for two years, are at twenty-five dollars. So, uh, and the truck driver at twenty-four oh three. So you've got. A truck driver at 2403, you got a motor grader operator at 2450, you got a mechanic at 25. That's after they've been here for two years. Mechanics mechanics wages are on the rise for yeah. finding for getting people to apply. And of course if you can't acquire them, then you're gonna pay the $150 an hour at a shop in there. That's what John Deere gets. So what Tammy talked with me about was the idea of opening up the contract and proposing to the union an increase in the pay of 12%. That, that's what I, I don't know if she had a number in mind for that, or, but that was the idea that she floated to me. Um, the contract has, you know, six months left if they're 12 months. Yeah. It's not yeah. Yeah. And you've got no excuse for one thing. Yeah, it does. Without that salary, you've got to do too many, too many it's hard experience. To, Oh, you're not going to find experience, that's clear. No. Uh, very difficult. But uh, even to find someone who's a, a shade tree mechanic, you know, yeah. it's tough enough. Mm -hmm. How many, on the last time you had that advertised, how many applications did you get? Two. Two. That tells you right there, you're not. Yeah. 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 Mechanic specifically. What is the right number? I don't know. I don't know. If you go to a private place, somewhere with a five percent down, I don't know that we can have a tax cut and take up that space. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <coughs> <coughs> Mechanics are very important. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. That was what she was that's what she told me. I don't she put it on the gender either room that she had done that. Yeah. Well, we're, we're just going to leave that to next week, Laura. Yeah, well, I don't know whatever you yeah. think is appropriate because there's some issues we had to be resolved, which you know, you can't throw the union with it too. Like yes. You know, mm -hmm. Yeah. And whenever that happens, then I think we put it on the agenda. Yeah, you may want to take that out and just <coughs> next week to do what? I want to take the mechanics pay scale out of the GPS handbook. Or the yeah. GPS yeah. handbook policy is a different thing altogether. Yeah. Well, yeah, we can put all them maybe a couple weeks out so yeah, they'll be fun. here physically. Yeah, yeah, but put it. Just put yep, I'll make you a note well. and you know next week. Yeah, okay. thank you. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's all I have. Okay, how's no, morning? Good. Yeah. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. Anybody else got anything on? Well, if I can get to the cemetery get Saturday to morning. <laughs> I do not want to carry a half a mile. <laughs> no, again. Or be carried, right? <laughs> Ooh, that's Ooh. even worse. Ooh. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> that's somebody else's problem. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, is there a motion to the claims? I so moved. Thank you. We're seconded. All in favor, motion say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried. Set up for a the election workers rate. So something Karen and I had on there. Um, a couple years ago, you know, they changed some legislation with election law, so that's why we have all these extra paperwork. We have extra um, canvases, different levels, tier one, tier two. Well, in the paperwork from the state now, we all have to verify what we paid our PEOs, which is precinct election official, so the people that work the polls. That means every county has to report that amount now. But we have to have you guys acknowledge it in a meeting, okay. what we paid for the last election. So what we pay for machine operators, that's who runs the machine, you put your ballot in, they get $15 an hour. 
the computer laptop operators and the chairpersons get $10 per hour. I'm sorry, they get the $15 per hour, sorry. Okay. And then all other election workers get $10 per hour. We also, in the last two elections, have started using courier. Usually they are deputy sheriffs. We have an emergency management director. At the end of the night, we need to have the little SIM card or memory card that's in the machine and brought back to our office. We run it through an independent computer and make sure it matches what their tape says on election night before we send results to the state. And it can take a while and they've had a long day. So the state allows us to use courier. So they're there right at eight as soon as they close. It's put in a sealed envelope usually with the deputy sheriff who drives it back and have it sent to 8.30. That's a great way to do it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we pay those, uh, there were five of them this, this election, $50 for the trip there and back. So okay. I'm just asking that you approve those pay rates. So uh, review that again. Yep. Okay. Machine operator is 15 and the chair? Yep, machine operator, and computer operator. Yep, computer operator and chairperson all get $15 okay. an hour. And then the, the balance of them get 10. And then the rest get 10. And then the couriers get just a straight $50. Okay. And that's the number that you want. Yeah. To reflect in what you want. Yes, okay. please, if you're okay with that. Yeah, I would move for to set the wages for the next election. The machine operator gets 15, computer and chair at $15 an hour. And all other workers at 10. Couriers at fifteen dollars would be per trip. Yeah. Per trip. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. I'll second. All right. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Okay. Those, those nay. Motion carries. Thank you, guys. Yeah. All right. Well, we need to swear in the treasurer and the recorder. I believe that's all. It's a live tax issue. I think you should do it. I believe so. I believe so. I'll break these bad habits. You won't put this on there, do you, Mom? Yeah, for sure. No. For a couple weeks more on this uh, HR bill. Yeah, I'll wait till Tammy comes yeah. back. Yeah. Tell her we'll, we'll put off the, uh, the hammer. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, we're ready when you are. Thanks. We're ready when you are. Thank you. Bye-bye. Do you have a script for us? Yep, I got the scripts and everything. Good morning. I'm terrific. Thank you. Are we going to swear Dirk in, too? Yeah, we'll swear at him. We'll <laughs> swear at him all the time. How you doing, Dirk? I'm doing. Good morning, Dirk. Morning, morning. Got anything for us? I'm just checking in with you guys. Okay. Well, get turkey, Dirk. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the swear ease. Whoop! Okay. These are yours. Here's we Amanda. got a swear and a swear ease. We'll give them each one so they can. Can you do it? Sure. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. I got my, my script. And you got your script? I got mine. You got yours? I got mine. All right. Uh, do you want to do any of your two? You want to do both of them? Same I'll time? do one at a time. Okay. okay.
Next victim. We, they were both vacancies, so that's why they were sworn in now instead of January. Mr. Hilmer will be, and Mr. Heron will be sworn in in January. That makes sense. Okay. I just came to listen. I just haven't been in for a while. I wanted to hear Lyle's report today. Okay. Aaron and Hilmer. And I have questions for Laura when we're done. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> All right, Laura, is there anything else? I don't have anything. Is anybody else? Nope. Okay, we'll adjourn you at 1025. Thank you.